we send an exorbitant amount of material to landfills. An estimated 35.3 tons of food, to be exact. When you have a family of four, let's say, and, and little Johnny doesn't want to eat his peas, well, then they get thrown in the garbage. There, the food scraps decompose and produce a potent methane gas, which isn't only bad for the environment, but your wallet, too. Each American um, wastes $1,500 worth of food in one year. This is all the while more than 38 million people in the country are food insecure. Food waste is a problem here in America. But luckily, both composting expert Jim Winkler and food expert Carly Harrison say there are things that we can do about it. We need to be doing everything we can to reduce waste. This starts with only buying food that your family will actually consume and keeping that food for the correct amount of time. So if a food item says it's expired, then you should throw it away. But if it says use by or best by, um, you can still keep that. Sometimes it's several months past that date. Your freezer is another way to save food. When you have leftovers, that's a main thing that people will tend to throw away. Uh, really, those should be used within four to five days of them being prepared. A great way to save those is to freeze them, um, and you want to freeze them within that four-day time frame. All of this in addition to composting. That's the practice of breaking down materials to be reused by other plant materials. This is something anyone can do from their home with just a simple plan. What do they want to compost? What's the purpose of it? Is it something to be additive back into their own soil or into their own garden? In Rhinelander, Lily Zoller, Newswatch 12.